Aloha. Hey, it is Sunday morning. I don't normally get on social media on Sunday morning, but or Sunday at all for that matter. But uh, had a kind of a crazy weekend. I expected to do my Pay It Forward Aloha Friday episode on Friday as usual, but I wanted to do it from the campsite uh, out at Waimanalo and Bellows. And I didn't get a chance to do that because it was super windy. If you saw the video that I did while I was out there on uh, outside of our cabin, it was super windy. It was a really cool video, but I just couldn't talk. I can't stand that wind sound, and I'm not on the beach right now. We came back home early because we had to get some stuff done. But I'm on the beach. I can't go on, out on the beach now to do this video because it's too windy, and you won't be able to hear it. And I got a lot of sun yesterday. I didn't put on any sunblock. I was out in the water with my son a lot of the most of yesterday and we we're playing in the waves and stuff. My hair's all crazy. I look like a munchy chi. <laughs> hey, Eric, you remember those munchy chis from years ago? I look like a red faced munchy chi. You should see my chest. I mean the the red really makes my, my blonde and silver chest hair pop. I'll I'll spare you the uh the visual on that one. But anyway, hey, listen, today I wanted to talk about and post this to my podcast and to my YouTube channel and on Facebook that persistence and being crazy obsessed. If you've never been obsessed or been called obsessed, then chances are you're probably not chasing something enough. And if you are chasing something, if you want to build something in your life, and there's planes coming over right now, so you'll probably hear that change my hands. I'm shaking, man. Uh, hold on. That's loud. That one's kind of low. Let's see who is it? Oh, that's why. It's a C-17. Makes sense. The commercial airlines aren't, aren't as loud as those C-17s. Anyway, if you've never been called obsessed, then chances are whatever it is that you're going after, whatever your goals and dreams are, they're not. you're not going after them strong enough. And I'm telling you right now, if you are persistent and consistent and just determined to get to where you want to go, over time, you will get there. It's baby steps. Too many people quit because they overestimate what they can accomplish in a year and underestimate what they can accomplish in a lifetime. I think I first heard uh, Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins say that. And it's so true. I'm putting this episode out right now because this is going to be episode 99 of the Men of Abundance podcast. And this Thursday, I'm launching episode 100 after just a month over a year, just over a year, about a month and a half over a year from launching Men of Abundance. And I've hit 100 episodes and it's super exciting. And, and a year ago, I was recording five episodes, had five episodes recorded and hadn't posted them because I was scared out of my freaking mind. I didn't know how people would accept it. I didn't know how people would accept me and the medium on, on audio. And you know what? I just did it. I had some mentors in place at the time. Charlie Jewett, you are a huge inspiration to me. Uh, you have you helped me push forward in getting it done. And Vidal Cisneros, my very first podcast host, I got to give you a shout out as well, John Lee Dumas. You had, uh, you're the reason why I pushed this whole thing forward because of your course and getting on the phone with me and just telling me just to launch it. It took me months, even after I had five episodes recorded, it took me months to launch Men of Abundance. I want that for you. Whatever it is that you're doing in your life, if you're trying to progress forward and improve your foxhole, as I always say, it's great to be comfortable. Like I'm probably too comfortable right now. And it's hard for me to push forward and uh, and try to grow this Men of Abundance community. Here's something else. I can't tell you by the number exactly how much I've spent on building this Men of Abundance podcast and community. I have made, well, I can't say I've made no money. I have some affiliates that I've made, you know, a couple hundred dollars here and there at this point. But I've spent close to $5,000 just over the year in building this podcast and getting the message out to you and getting these amazing stories out to you of all of these men and women living an abundant lifestyle. I've talked to people who have earned, who are earning consistently $200,000 a month. 
I've talked to people, I've talked to CEOs, I've talked to people who are, have nonprofit organizations, I've talked to people who um, earn barely $80,000 a year or less, living their life of abundance nonetheless. They are truly living a life of abundance. And this Thursday, I'm going to introduce you to a guy who I've known for many years. We served in the Army together. He's still on active duty. He's got an amazing bucket list that he's built off from traveling around the world, driving exotic cars, all kinds of stuff. And we talk a little bit about PTSD. We talk a little bit, little bit about suicide. We talk about that bucket list. And I'm going to have to bring him back on because we are going to dig deeper into his struggles with PTSD. And he keeps it pretty private. But he's opened up to me and you uh, for the Men of Abundance podcast because he absolutely loves what I'm doing here and sharing this with the world. So I just wanted to jump on real quick, tell you to be persistent, be obsessed, be consistent. It takes little steps to get ahead to, to fulfill your dreams. And I say don't make dreams, make decisions. Make a decision of what you want. Then start breaking it down on the little daily activities you have to make, you have to do consistently over time to get there. A year in, just over a year in, I'm in of abundance, and all, and 100 episodes this Thursday is just totally amazing to me. I've I've been introduced to some amazing people that have really made an impact on my life, and I truly appreciate every single one of them. I appreciate every single one of you for jumping on here and checking this out listening to my silly videos and uh, and whatever I have to say. Sorry I can't be on the beach right now. It's just too windy and you wouldn't be able to hear anything I said, but at least you'd get a good view. All right, I'm out. My red-faced munchy chi look and aloha. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care. Oh, and go subscribe to menofabundance.com. Subscribe to Men of Abundance podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you are not listening to podcasts, shame on you. There is so much information out there on podcasts. Over 300,000 podcasts out there to choose from. Everything from sports, book writing, personal development, business, even soap operas. All kinds of crazy stuff is on podcasts. It's free. Go check it out. Aloha.